Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through Espressif's new human detection solution, ESP Wi-Fi CSI, which includes an ESP lamp, a router and a Tencent L-Link Mini program. To start using ESP Wi-Fi CSI, go to an empty room and find the Wi-Fi radar interface on the Tencent L-Link Mini program. Click on the Wi-Fi radar status and calibrate the Wi-Fi CSI threshold. The purpose of this calibration is to adjust the equipment to different environments and make the detection more sensitive. CSI, which actually stands for Channel Status Information, refers to the channel information about a Wi-Fi connection. This information, in the case of expressive chipsets, consists of channel frequency responses to subcarrier signals calculated when packets are received from the transmitter. Expressive chipsets contain up to 306 subcarrier data signals. During the calibration, the lamp keeps flashing in yellow. When the calibration is completed, the yellow light stops flashing and turns white. At this point, we can get the human detection threshold and the activity threshold in the media program. When someone enters the room, ESP Wi-Fi CSI detects activity in the room immediately and the lamp light turns green. When someone sits down and works effectively without moving, ESP Wi-Fi CSI detects no activity in the room and the lamp turns from green to white. But when the detected person, for example, takes out their mobile phone from their pocket, the device senses this movement and the lamp light quickly turns green. When the person stays still again, the lamp colour turns back to white. After the room gets empty, ESP Wi-Fi CSI detects no activity and the lamp turns white. Subsequently, if no activity is detected within a specified period of time, the lamp will turn off. Now we can check all the information and data that was collected in the mini program during the whole process described above. More specifically, the information we'll be looking for is the activity status, the number of activities, and Wi-Fi radar data including wake-up times, correlation coefficients, and covariances. After the calibration, we can also use the slider to modify the human detection threshold and the activity threshold. The ESP Wi-Fi CSI human detection solution doesn't need any sensors. It can detect human activities directly over a Wi-Fi connection. What's more, ESP Wi-Fi CSI has outstanding advantages in terms of cost, ease of use and applicability, making it a great application for indoor monitoring, security monitoring and other scenarios that require detecting human activities. We hope you liked this new solution by Espressive Systems. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about ESP Wi-Fi CSI, or if you have any questions, please contact our customer support team by clicking the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching 